Yes, we're back with the ears because my hair's wet and my skin is not doing as well, but at least my outfit is looking cute. Hello, I'm Starbuck and welcome to my world. Woo. And in today's video, um, we've got some things to haul right here. So this is like a giant collective haul because as you may or may not know, I am still a student. I'm going to my next college for a foundation year and basically I'm broke, harsh reality. <laughs> I collect stuff for hauls and that's how I get these like giant hauls. I also have a giveaway prize, which I won. Look what I won. Thank you, Hungry Hips. I'm gonna show you everything I cat because I decided to give some stuff to my team sisters and my friend and even stuff comes from Italy and I've even got some decor in here so basically you're getting a full round. FYI, two items in this are summery and that is because when I did initially go shopping some of it was for summer. Like two pieces of summery but the rest of them are like back to school that's why I've titled it a back to school haul. So if you do enjoy hauls just like this and comment and also subscribe because you know your boy likes a good bit of fashion right here. So without further ado let's start with the haul. Okay, let's start with my favorite shop, which is Zara, of course. I got these shorts. These are so comfortable. Basically, these are these striped shorts. Yeah, they are linen. They're really comfortable. They're actually brilliant in the heat. Like, my goodness, linen shorts in heat are the best. Wore these in Italy and my legs did not die. But though, my legs don't really die in the heat. It's more like my upper body sides go. <sighs> Honestly, these are so cool. And I have worn these on Instagram and I actually really like these. They are a bit, like, loose to fit. But what I usually do is dry up doors anyway. That's what I do naturally. So, good purchase. So I brought two t-shirts. They're both kind of similar, but when you see them, they're both different. So they're both kind of similar because they're both simple slogan tees. This one is pastel pink and says stay proud, which is very, I don't know. I feel like, oh my God, look, literally my pastel pink aesthetic is here. <gasps> My dreams can come true. This one says stay proud, which I really like actually. I like the stay proudness because I always feel like for men's slogan t-shirts, they're always really weird with some dark, demeaning, or really sarcastic slogan. But even this one's just saying stay proud is just really nice and simple. And I feel like something that I can relate to a lot. And I love this so much. I love that this pink is a little bit more poppy and a little bit more like a more of a punchy pastel pink rather than like this one, which is like a baby doll pink. Then I got a very similar t-shirt. Basically it's the same thing, different font and different color with actually different story room. Okay, so they're kind of different. So this one says stay weird in black and it's basically a bright yellow, which uh, I wanted to try yellow this season and I did! Thanks Adeline Moran for getting me into yellow. This one's just really cool and I really like the like stay weird because again, I am a weird human and like, you gotta embrace being weird people. This one is just really nice and I think it's just so cool just to wear with. I like wearing this with another piece actually that's in this haul because they both kind of have very similar colours in them. So the piece that I am talking about are these chino trousers with a little side stripe that has this literally the same yellow, red and a white in the middle. And these chinos are actually amazing. They're so comfortable. And I like these ones because my other chinos from Zara, which are brilliant, they bunch up at the knee and it makes me look like a little some giant kneecap. And I'm just like... Where do I have a giant kneecap? So basically, I just prefer these ones and they just look so much more sleeker, so much more cooler. I just feel so much more hipster. So um, yeah, I really, really like them. Then, I think I showed this in one of my videos. I should show both pieces. I think my Summer Essentials video. I'm just gonna show them again. This shirt is ridiculously creased, let me just say this. But this shirt is so nice. It's this like tropical print bowler shirt with this freaking bright ass turquoise, which I'm just like, yay! Actually, my old aesthetic used to be like pastel pink, turquoise, and purple. Or if any of you remember that, let me give you a high five. I feel Ariana come and give me a high five. Sorry, I just, I just had to do that. I just really like it. And I feel like this is just such a cool, chill piece to wear with like jeans. And like doing the auto. I can just imagine this like back to school with like one of the other pieces that I'm going to show you from Italy. With like that and like jeans and then a pair of trainers. Oh, yes. My glasses. Three hips to vibe. All the hipsters. All those like glowy hipsters. You better watch out. Why am I thinking of a Christmas song right now? Steph, we're not even near Christmas. Although, I want to say Liberty did have their Christmas range out and we visited it and I died with joy because Christmas is coming. Then the last piece I brought which definitely is one of my most worn pieces is this shirt and I'm obsessed. This shirt has got the coolest print. I love the colours and I honestly just feel so good in it. It is my favourite thing I think I've brought and I will still continue to wear this all year round. I think because the colours are like so warm like the red and the peachy yellow in there like if you look there. I think it's really good for autumn and I like the navy because then it makes it appropriate for winter as well. Oh 
Oh my god, I love it. Although I'm also one of these people who wears colours throughout all seasons. So the next place I'm gonna go out and show you is a little bit of Cullen Bear. First piece is gonna be the summer one. It's basically these tailored shorts, and these are honestly so comfortable. I honestly wore them and I love them. They're so comfortable and tailored. They just look cold anyway. But of course, I always have to roll on the bottom. It's always just my preference, and the fit is just so much more nicer. Another piece that I got, which I'm basically like fully obsessed with, is this t-shirt. It's just your simple Coca-Cola t-shirt. Basically, I feel all hips now with this. And this honestly goes with everything. I love this red. I honestly, red is one of my favorite colors. I think it's like my second favorite color. So that's kind of everything I got before my holiday. Then what I got during, the day before we left, my mom gave me this like nail varnish. My mom decided to go shopping for beauty stuff and she decided to get me some nail varnish. I got this color, which is honestly like the cutest color ever. This is like a purple duochrome color. God, I feel like a beauty guru now. Whoa! I love this color. This is called jellyfish. I don't know why it's called jellyfish though. Because if you look, like this is purple. And aren't jellyfish is supposed to be pink? This color, I love it. And it's so pretty and looks so good. Then, when we were on holiday, so seeing my vlog, you saw me spray this in my eye. I got a Dolce & Gabbana perfume, light blue, Italian Zen. Seriously so good. It smells amazing. It first kicks off with like a lemony intensity and then you just get this really nice perfume that's like fresh and fruity, yeah. A bit of floral. I always prefer feminine fragrances. Like for me, I want to smell fresh and very youthful. I don't really want to smell sporty or smoky or dusty. Dusty? Is that even what you want to smell like? I want to smell very like fresh and I feel like this perfume like nails it. Plus, can we please appreciate how cute this freaking packaging is? This is so cute. Cute and very much it reminds me of like a Malfi. If you went down to Malfi to look at all the markets and all the bowls and stuff like that, this is exactly what you'd be seeing. Then from a leather shop that we always go to, I got a little cherry key ring, which is the cutest thing ever. And then, oh, here's the good purchase. Here's the real good one that I'm talking about. I got myself a bag. Oh, actually, my dad got me a bag. So thanks, Dad, a lot. Actually, my parents did. Love you both, parents. But this bag is a hundred percent leather. I think it's a hundred percent leather. I'm not sure, but it's mainly leather and it's brilliant so it is this backpack i mean come on this is so cool it's got so much room inside it's so cool there are so many cool pockets it's got this like mustardy orange yellow color in the side and okra it's just so pretty and honestly i cannot wait to wear this on like the first day of my foundation course and be like bitches i'm here to slay I just imagine myself doing that as well yes dad yeah, I seriously love this so much and I just really do. It's such a good bag and I love it. I also like the use of the two-tone leather. So pretty! I think that's all from Italy. Now, let's go on to after. So, I don't know if I got this before or after. I actually forgot. But there is something from Monkey, which is so cute. My mom got this for me again as a surprise. And honestly, it is the cutest thing ever. It is this t-shirt, which says, Love is the color of the rainbow. If that isn't like staff enough, I don't know what is. This is so cute! And it's so adorable. I feel like Jessie Page would adore this. And honestly, it's so pretty. It's even got a glitter along the world. It just makes everything laugh. So much will bear with a bit of sparkle. And I like that it's actually bigger. My mom got it in a medium. I thought she got it in a large. This teacher's just huge. Very 80s. And I'm all up for that. And I absolutely love this so much. The other clothing pieces I got were from Ashka. Honestly, like, I can't believe I actually did this. Because I literally spent money. And I was like, ah, death. And I was like, ah, oh, that's um, really weird. Let me explain. So, I basically got some extra money this month from my auntie, which I'm very grateful for. So, if she's watching this, hi, dear Jiffy. Thank you. And I'm usually the type of person who'd like try and save it or try to like think about what to buy it. Then I went into Bershka and bought these two trousers from my friend Emily, which you all know by now. And she went in because she tried on this like beautiful skirt. And I saw these trousers, like, okay, let's go and try them on. I loved both and I brought both. It's kind of stupid spending in one part, but in the other part, I was like, I can't. I love them. Let's see what. So, the first pair was. I actually wore with my Coke t-shirt yesterday. I'll put like a picture here. And honestly, this is such a cool outfit. It is these Plantec tartan trousers. And these are so comfortable. Like, I swear to you. I actually got elasticated size. They're actually so comfortable. And they're just so cool. They're a carrot fit. And these are so cool. This and like a backpack. And you'll be out the door looking back to school ready. I don't think this was like badly priced. The one thing you have to know. That if you're doing men's fashion. Men's fashion is all always going to be more expensive than women's fashion. Women's fashion is so much, I think it's because men don't really use more fabric, but men's fashion is always a slightly more expensive, which is so annoying because they're just saying that like, 
great. And when you go to the women's section, everything's generally cheap. I think these ones were 26 pounds, which for a pair of trousers is actually pretty good. Like usually trousers are way more expensive. So like for 26, it's actually pretty decent. And then the next pair are just so fun. And just something that I love. I'm still surprised how she managed to fit two pairs of trousers in the bag. These are supposed to be slim fit, but they're pretty good skinny. These are these striped trousers. My goodness. These are striped denim actually. I love how bright the denim is, which basically means when I wash it, I have to turn it inside out. Whoa. These trousers are so cool. They're just so comfortable and they're really nice. And yeah, I do have to say both these trousers are pretty cropped on me. The waist fits so well. Like, I'm a 29 and honestly, it's like the best thing I've ever tried. They're so comfortable and they just look amazing. I love them. I think these ones were 30 and the reason why I think that is because these are denim. And denim's always going to be a little bit more expensive, which I don't get why. But like anyway. And honestly, I do not regret buying these at all. So happy for everything. I've got more to show you though. <laughs> So let's start off with the giveaway stuff. So I entered the giveaway from the Hungry Hipsters. So again, thank you so much if you're watching this. And basically because I was going on holiday, it got given after. And I just really just want to show you like some of my favorite pieces. So we've got this bag, which is the cutest thing ever, which I'll be using as a pencil case from now on because it's so cute. It's got freaking flamingos on it. And if filming has flamingos on it, it's obviously for Steph. And then I got these shorts, which are super comfortable, and they are from Urban, and I was like, I'm freaking trendy now. They're so comfortable, and they're so soft inside. They are a bit big for me, but if I just roll up the hair and make it really short, then it's perfect. Then I also got, I also got some sunglasses, so here's the case. They're from a company called Melt, and they do some real cute sunglasses. <gasps> then I got this t-shirt. I now can dress up as a Riverdale vixen for Halloween, although I don't even watch Riverdale. Isn't this just such a happy yellow? God, Alan Morin, who is she? She's shaking. I'm pretty sure she's okay too. Here's the sunglasses. Let's start with the sunglasses from Mel. So I got these ones, which are like, I mean, if I don't like a babe, I don't know what else. This is like literally, if you were like, when I had my Instagram, this would be literally the filter on top. I love it. Actually, suit me as well. I didn't even think that. These ones are a bit weird. These are like, if everything was blue. God damn, I do not think these suit me. I feel like I'm like, I'm wearing goggles. Then here are the ones from Forever 21. I'm a real true hipster here because literally every hipster shop set Urban Outfits in Forever 21. These ones are just like square ones and I know these are supposed to be for women but like I'm low-key living for these uh, I got a flowy which I mean is always fun I got a phone case for a phone that I do not have but I mean it's so cute I got a skirt which I don't think I'm gonna wear This so cute! I could actually make these into shorts I've got some other things to show you in this haul but I want to show you some of my favourites I've got a disposable camera here which is so cute and it's waterproof as well which is banging I just need to find out where to find film for this and then I'll be able to take some cool disposable photos. Hey, Then I also got this cup, which is the coolest thing ever. It's a freaking watermelon. This sun cream I freaking love. This is from Urban Outfitters and like, it's a spray one and look, it's a freaking mist and Oh, it just looks so good. Thank you so much. There is literally so much in here. Thank you so much again. I literally thank you so much times, but thank you. Then, the last place I'm actually going to show you is HomeSense. HomeSense is literally a legendary decor place. It does every decor for so much more cheaper money, and especially if you're, like, trying to make your room look cute, this is the perfect place. So the first thing I got is a little flamingo, which, I mean, I thought it was actually a childish, but, like, when you switch on, it looks so cute! It's seriously like the most adorable thing. I really want to make it look like a pastel tropical haven And I feel like this is the perfect place to start. I am seriously obsessed with it. It is so cute This cost 16 pounds. There's like a pair or two which I think even 16 is a bang and bargain for something like this Because I definitely know companies would charge so much more more. Next comes my favorite bear. Basically, I got myself a neon light Which I think is the most adorable thing ever. I haven't actually put it up yet, but I will. Okay, my dad will because I'm terrible with DIY stuff. Here it is isn't it so cute? Like I've got, I think I've got like a photo of it on and it is so cute. Like this is what it looks like on. Isn't that amazing? And it literally glows a rose. And I've always loved neon lights, but they're so expensive. Like especially at Urban. I was like looking at like 50 pounds, like what? And this was only 20. That's like over half price. Like, come on. I, of course I had to get this. And then I got myself a face mask from Korea. And honestly, Kendall got me these like ages ago. Maybe not 
just from this company, but like from a different one. And honestly, like ever since, I've always loved shoe masks because they are honestly so hydrating for your skin. So I'm definitely gonna try this one. I think I might try today because honestly, as I said in the beginning, my skin is not doing well. Oh, there we go. There's the sorts of my forehead. Look at all of them being burst, looking brilliant as ever. It's basically my giant, non-giant, whatever you wanna call it, haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you want some more haul videos. I hope you do enjoy. Please like, subscribe, share. You know what to do and Ash will see you guys very, very soon. Cheers, adios, goodbye. Thank you.